Pastor NASA Evangelistic Ministry, reaching souls around the world for Jesus, with your host, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. If you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourself to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262. That's 337-706-7262. www.ronniebailey.com Now why don't you take a moment and call a friend and let them know that the Rock of Ages Ministries television program is now on the air. So sit back and enjoy exciting program for the Apostle Ronnie Bailey. He's my joy, my peace, my wonderful counselor, Jesus. Here's his name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Rock of Ages Ministries television program. My name is Apostle Ronnie Bailey. I'll be your host. And I tell you, God is moving in a very special way today. I'll tell you, back by popular demand, obedience and total surrender to the Holy Spirit. And uh, next month, October the 11th, Rock of Ages will be celebrating our 32nd year anniversary, ministerial anniversary. And I just want you, let's just give Jesus a, a clap offering for Glory. that. Hallelujah. Because he's brought us a mighty long way. That's right. And I tell you, uh, today, though, we have a powerful telecast. And I want you to meet uh, the ministers uh, that are in the studio. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Front and center. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And let's just welcome them. And would y'all welcome our audience at the Amen. same time. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Again, we're going to be talking about the um, uh, obedience and total surrender to the Holy Spirit. But we're also going to uh, give somewhat of a tribute to Rock of Ages Ministries uh, International because this ministry is touching people around the world. Amen. And I tell you, we're going to go to a clip. Amen. And when we come back, we're going to hear from our first anointed guest, evangelist and pastor Hilda Miller Jones. Don't touch that dial. Apostle Ronnie Bailey gave his life to our Lord Jesus in 1974. As a born-again believer soon after in 1976, he was baptized in the Holy Spirit and has submitted and committed himself to serving the Lord all the days of his life. This was evident in 1985 when Apostle Ronnie Bailey answered the call into ministry, resigned his secular employment, being obedient to God's divine plan and the leading of the Holy Spirit became the founder and pastor of Rock of Ages Ministries with a heart of love and a very humble spirit has allowed his gifts to reach out to the lost at all cost. Service to God with a servant's heart, founded Home for the Homeless Shelter, ministering to the whole person by way of sheltering, feeding and clothing, as well as helping countless others suffering in the areas of drugs and alcohol bondage and mentally challenged conditions, changing lives through the word by empowering and encouraging many to live a lifestyle of above, and never beneath faithfully trusting in Christ Jesus. Outreach Ministries Apostle Bailey, faithfully trusting God began a radio broadcasting outreach ministry in 1986 and by 1987 obeying God, started his televangelism centered in the vision of preaching, teaching and total deliverance. 
these TV programs, airing each week in Louisiana covering over 25 cities and parishes touching tens of thousands of souls, forever having a desire to reach the lost at any cost. In 2006 Apostle Bailey launched his first webcast channel via internet, now to date one channel has grown to over 20 webcast channel being viewed 24 sevenths and 360. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Reaching the world with the gospel. Amen. You know, we, if no one else, have found our purpose. And our purpose is to uh, spread the gospel around the world. Mm -hmm. Paul said, woe is me if I preach not this gospel. Amen. The Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but to love them. Amen. And Jesus told Peter, clearly, if you love me, feed my sheep. That's right. Well, Lord, you know I love you. Do you love me, Peter? Feed my lamb. Mm -hmm. Feed my lamb. That's right. Do you love me, Peter? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we, we kind of look in the mirror and say, we, we that Peter, you know. Amen. He got a little frustrated because he said, why the Lord keep asking me the same question? Mm -hmm. Because we say we love him. That's right. He says, you call me Lord, Lord, but you do not what I say. Come on. Amen. And so we're talking about total liberty in the spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the title of today's telecast is obedience and total surrender mm -hmm. to the Holy Spirit part two. Amen. You know, because last time, I mean, we just couldn't leave it right there. Mm -hmm. And we're about to get to our first anointed guest because I tell you, we got a little bit to say today. <laughs> Amen. And that goes, as I mentioned, uh, evangelist and pastor Hilda Miller Jones of Faith, Hope, Love, Ministries. Why don't you take it right there and you might want to pass it to your husband right when you finish. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostle Bailey, it is a pleasure as well as an honor to be here. Thanking God for giving me the privilege to be present one more time. Thank you. Amen. I'm going to come from Galatians 5 and 16. This I say, walk in the Spirit. Yes, Lord. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the Oh, flesh. my God. For the Thank flesh, you, Jesus. lust against the spirit and the spirit mm, mm, against mm, the mm. flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. Yes. So that ye cannot do the things that you would. That's right. But if ye be led by the spirit, you're not under the law. Amen. The key to living the Christian life is the Holy Spirit. The basic theme of this verse is the spirit control life. And yes. what it produces. The production in of its verse 22. It reveals the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, God. goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. Now there is contrast between the law and grace. Mm -hmm. Christ came along and paid the penalty that the law required. My God. God's law is a holy law. You are of a free agent. But this aid, this free agent, there are choices, good and bad. Amen. Behind every choice, there is a consequences. Mm -hmm. The choice is really yours. The wedges of sin is dead, but the wow. gift of God is eternal life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Choose you this day whom you want to serve. Yes. Whether it be the law of internal life with God, or whether it be your flesh. My you have God. a choice. Thank you, Jesus. God doesn't force anyone to serve him. Mm -hmm. He lets us know that we are free. Mm -hmm. Whom Christ has said free is free indeed. Mm -hmm. And I thank God, I thank God over 20-some years ago, God chose me, and he cleansed me up from the things that wasn't right in my life. And he gave me a will to do or mm -hmm. not to do. That's right. And I thank God that I chose to follow Christ. That's right. And as leaders over me, I follow them as they follow Christ. And I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you do the honors of 
introducing your wonderful husband, and yeah, I think he can take it from there. This is Fred, <laughs> Frederick Ricky Jones, my husband. Hey, Amen. Come. Let's give the Lord a hand clap Amen. for him. Good Glory evening. To God. Good evening, everybody. I want to come to you from Exodus 19, 5, and it reads as such. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth mm. is mine. Yes, I, Lord. I look at that as this. The word indeed enhances everything that is being said. Mm -hmm. See, God says, now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice. Say that See, sometimes we could obey God and turn around and do something different. But if you indeed, if you do it indeed, yeah. that, 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 that tells you something. Yes. You know, you're going to be there from the beginning and you're going to be there in the end. That's right. Genuine. You're not going to be sweet today and sour tomorrow. You're going to be the same way with him or you're going to try your best to be the same way mm -hmm. with him Amen, and that's what bro. God is looking for God is Amen. looking for people steadfast mm -hmm. he's looking for people that's not moving he's looking for people that's that right. just with him always yes yes trying yes, to yes, do the yes, right yes, thing yeah. pushing hard to Glory. do the right thing mm -hmm. and we have to we have to exert ourselves in the gospel we can't just do it lukewarm we have to exert ourselves we have to put forth all effort to do the right thing. We have mm -hmm. to fight sin. Sin is always present. Mm -hmm. Crafty. It comes at you so many ways until mm -hmm. you don't really know how to how to avoid it. Mm -hmm. And it's always fighting for your attention. Sins fight for your attention. Mm -hmm. But God gives us freedom of choice. You can make the choice. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, but you right. can make the choice. Right. But remember that word indeed. Mm -hmm. You gotta really make a choice. You have to really try, and you have to try hard. You can't pretend, and you can't be this way today mm -hmm. and this way tomorrow. You got to always try. I'm not saying you're gonna succeed, but you have to always try hard. You have to put forward maximum effort in order to succeed in the God. That's right. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Amen. God bless Let's you. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And we just want to say hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to just Amen. take a moment to get a praise break in here. Hallelujah. Those two powerful anointed ministers. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know if uh, Dr. June Paul is ready to, to give a response after that. But, uh, but then again, I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to give it up to I'm going to leave it up to her. But um, uh, since we have a little more time in this segment, Dr. June Paul of Operation Outreach for Souls. Can you give us a response to that? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank Amen, God, sister. Apostle Bailey, and to all my fellow ministers in the gospel, and to mm -hmm. you, our television audience, and yes, wherever Lord. you are in the world, we say, we love you, and we praise God for you. Yes, And Lord. today's topic uh, mainly is obedience and total obedience. It says, surrender to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that my uh, co-laborers are going to uh, be elegant in responding and speaking according to the Word of God and what the Lord has placed in our hearts. But we do want to just uh, begin by saying that God has placed you in this world at this time, in His world. Amen. We were predestined. Amen. Mm -hmm. We were spirit before we ever created. But there were thousands of souls. Hallelujah. And we were spirit beings. And so, uh, down through the thousands of years, we are here now in such a wonderful time, a see wonderful that. opportunity see it, see it. to be obedient to what God has always been speaking. And Amen. the beginning from Adam, as you know, Adam forfeited his beautiful, beautiful life in in the Lord, uh, you might say, because he had everything to, he and Eve had everything going for them. Mm -hmm. But they became disobedient mm -hmm. and that uh, 
passed on down through generations and generations. But originally, we have uh, had God's DNA pure in the spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so now you and I are here to proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. That's right. Because we are living in the last generation. Oh, as we study the word of prophecy Jesus. in the Bible, Amen. we'll see that we're at this, this 6,000. We're about to kick into the 11th. To the, uh, to the seventh, mm -hmm. amen, yes. time. Yes. Now look, obedience, praise God, uh, has two, two aspects. Number one, we can have the natural obedience where we're trained by parents or others. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so we do the things that are right. But we have that innate, innate ability to obey those who are over us and training us. But dearly beloved, as we come into maturity, mm. the obedience mm. uh, to Christ when we accept mm. him will put us over in life. Hallelujah. And as we grow, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. we will come into full maturity because mm. God is getting his obedient children. Not everybody in the church is Amen. obedient. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are the body of Christ That's right. be obedient to the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Search yourself. I search myself and say, Lord, am I listening to you? Am I obeying your word? Am I following the highway of holiness? Hallelujah. Amen. And I thank you, Lord, for your inward, for your Holy Spirit, which is teaching and guiding me and leading me into all truth. And the Lord has that for each of his children. So spend time with him. Spend time with him. Lie prostrate before him. Hallelujah. And hear his voice. Hallelujah. Read yes. the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. And if you have your prayer language, the baptism in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, amen, utilize that, yeah. uh, that, that tongue talking, yeah. amen. Yeah. And if you haven't, re you've received that gift, but release yourself because you are now saved. Oh, blessed be the name Thank of the you, Lord. Jesus. So look up Thank you. Yes. because your redemption draweth nigh, yeah. but it's on to obedience, hallelujah, yeah. to our great God Almighty mm -hmm. that you will can go and to be with the Lord in heaven, Amen. but right now, on earth, as it is in heaven. On Amen. earth, as it in a, is in heaven, according to your obedience to his word. The Lord bless you and keep you is my prayer for you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can, can we give a big amen to that? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. If you don't know Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, would you repeat this prayer with me, along with us in the studio? Because I want you to know, as uh, Dr. Paul mentioned about the 6,000 going into the 7,000, I want you to know it's not quite 7,000, but we have went into the seventh millennium, the 7,000th year. You, do you know a, 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 a generation is 100 years? And a generation is a hundred years. And that means if it's, if it's uh, 7,000, that would be uh, 70 hundred years, 70 generations. But you know the number seven is God's number. It is God's number. And I truly believe he's coming back today. He's coming back, not today, but he's coming back soon is what I want to say. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. So if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, would you say this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Come into my heart. Be Lord of my life. I receive you now. I know that I'm saved. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer, let me be one of the first to congratulate you, <laughs> along with the rest of us in this studio. Come on, let's give them a victory clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I want you to know before we go to this special song, amen, which is a, a worship all the way from Japan. But before we go to this song, I want you to know now that you're saved, you need to get your Bible. Get you a Bible. Bibles are uh, so inexpensive. Do you know every hotel have a Bible? Mm -hmm. 
just about every hotel ever. They may not have, you know, uh, everything that they should have, but they have a Bible. And so, I mean, so if, you, if you're in a hotel, there's a Bible. If you go to the dollar store, you can buy a Bible for a dollar. Yeah. If you go to Walmart, believe it or not, you can buy a Bible for a dollar. Yeah. You can get the Bible on CD. So it's no excuse for us not to have a Bible. Amen. Amen. And if you need it, if you don't have the dollar, <laughs> then we'll send you a Bible. That's right. You give us a call. You see the number on the screen. Also, you need to become a part of a full gospel, Holy Ghost filled church. Amen. Remember, it's about obedience and total surrender to the Holy Spirit. Amen. You need to learn how to totally surrender uh, to the Holy Spirit and walk in obedience. And lastly, but not leastly, you need to establish your prayer life because it's not about religion, but it's about a relationship with, with God Almighty. Through his son. Hallelujah. Through His Son, Jesus. Amen. He says, no man coming into the Father Except through me, that's Jesus speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. No man coming to the Father except through him. Mm. So don't touch that dial. I want you to get, put your, your spiritual worship attire on because we're about to go into some little worship here. Mm -hmm. And when you come back, Amen. you're going to hear from none other than Hallelujah. the bishop himself, Kerwin Broussard. Amen. Thank Praise Thank God. You. And I know it's a message. We're waiting for yes, Lord. Don't touch that dial. Japan. We brought that to you exclusively. Um, that was, uh, the, actually, that was done in a Rock of Ages, believe it or not, 21st year anniversary. Amen. And now we're about to celebrate our 32nd year anniversary. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what really amazes me. Because I don't take any of the credit, and none of these ministers, I'm sure, are taking the credit from our Lord and Savior. Right. Remember, hallelujah, in the beginning was the Word. Mm -hmm. The Word was with God, mm -hmm. 
and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And the Bible says the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. Mm -hmm. You see, that of the only begotten of the Father. So you see, Jesus obtains the glory of the Father, and we obtain his glory. Amen. Amen. Because he's the light of men. He shined that Amen. light, that glory on Amen. us. And the reflection of Jesus is in us. That's right. So Amen. we are walking in his glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So anything that Rock of Ages have done, anything that any of these ministers that are before you have done, is all to the glory of God. Amen. Let's give God some glory Amen. right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 32 years that we have been uh, Amen. on the battlefield and in the vineyard, mm -hmm. amen, feeding God's sheep. And that's why I want to commend these ministers who have come out of their busy schedule just to be here amen. to bring you a word amen. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I tell you, I thank God for, uh, we, we were calling him pastor, but amen. Bishop amen. Carwin Bruce, I hope our director amen. have changed on the screen for him. Amen. Amen. But Bishop Carbon Bruce saw it. Amen. What has God brought to the table concerning obedience Amen. and total surrender mm -hmm. to the Holy Spirit, part two? Thank you, Apostle. I really appreciate it. Giving me an opportunity to share with, with souls out here um, that they could be blessed. Mm. I tell you, the first thing he brought was a bunch of anointed and, and beautiful men and women of God that's on this panel and that's fighting against yes, these devils, Yes, yes, yes. You know, and you could feel the, the warfare. You could feel the devil's really trembling <laughs> right now. He's really trembling because he knows that his time is short mm -hmm. and the Bible says that God has a very elect that's on the scene. Hey! They're on the scene and we are that very elect. And we are the elect, the very elect that's going to go out and get the elect that went astray. It says it in, in uh, John, I think it's John and Matthew, Matthew and John. He says the east, the west, the north, and the south, they're scattered. But guess what? They're going to come back. Because it says that when they hear the word of God, they're just deceiving and they're being deceived. But once they know the written word of God and the truth of God, believe me, it's the word of God that makes us free. That's right, that's right. God can do all things. That's we right. don't do nothing. We are only servants. Mm -hmm. That's all we are. But if we do what God tells us to do, watch how everything lines teach up. Teach us, brother. Teach us. I see it, me. I, 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 the other day I was at work, and I, I want to give this testimony because you got to understand the power of God. And it was pouring down rain and on us. I had towed half of the roof off, and I was getting soaking wet. And my friend came and got me the one that owned the building and said, let's knock off. I said, well, the rain's going to stop. He told me, he said, well, it's still raining. I said, okay, well, let's knock off. So we started packing, and then the Lord told me, tell them the rain going to stop. Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, Wayne, you sure you don't want to You don't want to work? The rain's going to stop. Mm -hmm. He told me, he said, no, let's pack up. He brought me to the bank, paid me, and I deposited my money. When we was walking out the car, I looked up in the sky, and where we was working at, it was blue skies with white clouds. Mm -hmm. And over us, it was dark. Mm-hmm. But that is obedience. Mm -hmm. When you pay attention to the Spirit of God, yeah. and God wants all of His people to be like that. That's yeah. all you got to do is believe that He is, mm -hmm. and that He's able to do what we say He could do. That's right. If we say that He's all powerful, and we turn around and think negative, do we really think that He's all powerful? Right. You see, that. He could do anything. Right. You know, just like uh, all the brother and sister said, it's a choice. It's our choice. It's simple to say, okay, Lord, I'm going to believe. Right. You... Hallelujah. Yes. It's simple as saying, mm -hmm. I'm going to believe. It's simple as saying, hey, Lord, if your word says it, that settles it. That's right. Nothing else matters but your word. I was reading in Acts. Watch how powerful this is. Mm -hmm. Acts 532. Yeah. It says, I always get a different revelation. God is so awesome. <laughs> it says, right. we are his witnesses of these things. And also... And, and, and so is also the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost witnessed too. Amen. He witnessed too. Yeah. While when we witness, he's witnessing with, with us. Yeah. Amen. He is witnessing with us. Now you see why it's so important to not quench him or grieve him or stop him from working in us. 
It's mm-hmm. him that's working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had a friend of mine that told me we mm-hmm. were having a discussion over, well, brother, you know you're just strong. That's why you're receiving the word and I'm weak. I said, no, brother, you got it wrong. See, the word of God is food. And whether you're weak or you're strong, you can still eat. Mm-hmm. If you was in a desert and you was weak and you came across a plate of food, you're going to pass it up because you're weak? No. Mm-mm. You're going to eat it. We're not competing mm-hmm. against each other and trying to say, well, I know more than you or you know mm-hmm. more than me. That's Just right. Just eat what's on your platter. That's right. And help each other. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what God is saying to his people. We are here to help each other, to lift up each other, to, to, to make each other strong. When the, when the weak is, is weak, make them strong. Make them strong by the word of God, by, by what God has given you. You see, I don't worry about people being mm-hmm. weak. Mm-hmm. I just worry about us being strong as a yeah. unit. Yeah. In Jesus' name. I just praise him. You know, he's awesome. Oh, yes. I give him oh, all yes. the glory. Yes, Amen. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some glory. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, because he's going to give it right back to us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have our, hallelujah, anointed psalmist and missionary and minister, Sharon Nabon. Amen. Will you just take it from there? Because we don't want to run out of time. We want everybody. That's right. I see we have four more Mm -hmm. anointed ministers. I don't know if my director can can do a, 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 a miracle. So... Would you go right on and, and take it from here? Praise God. Okay, I'll make it short. But first of no, all, right I just ahead. want you to to know that mm-hmm. all of you that's listening and all of the people on the panel, yes. that Jesus loves you. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. No matter what. Mm-hmm. Say that. He loves you. And, uh, of course, he wants all of us to love him back. Amen. And... By one of the reasons we can, uh, or ways we can love him back, but is by surrendering to Come him. On, That's right. That's right. And as we surrender to him, then he teaches us mm-hmm. his ways. Mm-hmm. And as he teaches us his ways, mm-hmm. we learn to be obedient to Amen. him. And it's steps one step at a time. Mm-hmm. But as we ask God, like we did on a, on a panel today, to come into our life, be the master and savior of our lives, mm-hmm. he would help us. <clears throat> yes. Amen. 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 Right. And remember, no matter what, he mm-hmm. loves you. Mm-hmm. We all fall short of the glory of God, mm-hmm. but we keep stepping. Amen. We keep trying to mm-hmm. be like he wants us to be. That's right. We keep surrendering unto him, unto his way. That's Amen. right. And in turn, being obedient mm-hmm. unto him. Yep. And as we unto, uh, be obedient unto him and his spirit, mm-hmm. we are easily to, uh, we'll make it easy for us to be obedient unto others. That's right. On the jobs, mm-hmm. on our, our mothers and fathers mm-hmm. right. and Amen. so forth. Yes, Lord. And when we're in the spirit, uh, the Bible says in... Um, Romans 8, 14, it says, uh, for as many that are led by the Spirit oh, of you, God, mm-hmm. not by the Spirit of the devil, Come on, huh? but many mm-hmm. that are led by the Spirit of God, uh-huh. mm-hmm. they are the sons, Hallelujah. and they are the daughters of That's God. Right. Amen. So if you are a son of God, a daughter of God, mm-hmm. And you surrender yourself to God, and you're obedient to God. That's a sign right there. That's right. And in Second um, Chronicles five seventeen said, "We become a new creature. Mm-hmm. All things mm-hmm. pass away. All things become that's, new to that's us." Right. That's right. Uh, I, I'm not gonna take long. I promise. A possibility. Thank you for allowing me to speak. But oh, uh, I just remember <laughs> in. Uh, Around in the 80s, I was learning to be obedient to God or surrendering myself to him. Mm -hmm. And I was going through steps and I was in church and I was about to move in a house. And I was so excited. I told a girl in the church, I said, God knows everything. Wow. He said, I was singing a song. I moved to my old house Mm -hmm. and I moved from my old friends. I got a new walk, a new talk. That's what the uh, song was saying, being a new creature. 
And I was excited because God knew that I was going to move to a new house. I was Amen. moving. Mm-hmm. I was moving from one street to mm-hmm. another. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it meant in the spirit. Mm-hmm. I was thinking carnal. Mm-hmm. So he don't want us to think carnal. That's, That's right. right. Mm-hmm. He wants us to be led by his spirit and think mm-hmm. spiritual. That's right. So now I know mm-hmm. the song was about moving in the spirit, not moving mm-hmm. down the street in another Amen. area. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 But Jesus loves you, and we do too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God, Minister Jeff Chaz. You know, Sam, you didn't got promoted. Oh. Minister Jeff Chaz. I, I really meant to call you Brother Jeff Chaz, yeah. but the word that came out of my mouth, Possibly. Minister yes, sir. Jeff Chaz. As long as you don't call me late for a meal, I don't care what you, <laughs> you call me anything. Well, I hope our audience Amen. feel the same I just about tell, the I, spiritual just meal. Yes, sir. That we yes, hope sir. that they tuned yes. in right now. Yes. And we're going to move it right along because we got like two more anointed guests. Yes. So praise Absolutely. The well, thank you. thank you for coming. Hopefully, hopefully there are some maybe people sitting on the fence about becoming a believer in Christ, That's about right. being saved. Yes. Hopefully, what I'm going to tell you right now might make you go, hey, you know what? Look, that that thing that when we're, that we have as natural human people, but, but before we're saved, we have intuition, mm-hmm. which, I mean, it's just like a mm-hmm. beyond common sense. Like, <clears throat> if ever you're in a strange town, uh, you will hear the police will say, well, don't go there. They say, uh, if it doesn't feel right, don't go there. That's a right. common sense thing in any That's town, right. New Orleans or anywhere you go. That's right. Well, when you get the Holy Ghost, when you get saved, you get that plus you get the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ said before he ascended, he told the apostles, who we told to go into all the world. So basically, Jesus told all the world at once, okay? Mm-hmm. Not, not just the apostles. Uh, he said in it, he said, I will not leave you Comforters. alone. Comforters. Not and leave you without a comforter, without right. an advocate. He that's left right. us he the that. Holy Spirit who will guide you, who will teach you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when you're studying the Bible, when you first get saved, God will lead you along. And then in regular life, in your everyday daily situations, besides, let's say, you know, you're you make it up some kind of special business deals or something. Who knows? Maybe you might pray. Lord, I want, oh, man, I, I don't know about this. Is Am I doing a good thing or am I doing the wrong thing? Or, well, you got extra help. You got the Holy Spirit there mm-hmm. with you. So that's that's something to consider. That's right. On a business level to get saved. You know, it makes sense. You know, use your head, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but, but, that's right. but uh, it is very very important to all of us that are saved, no matter what line of work you're in, you're a chef, you're a singer, you work on the railroad, you know, you work in the internet department, whatever you do, remember the Holy Spirit is there for you to call upon. That's right. Mm-hmm. Because he, when when you say, Jesus, Jesus, I don't understand this, I don't understand this, uh, I don't understand this scripture, or I, I don't understand how to, how to witness to, to this person. I haven't been saved that long, but I want to share the, the, the joy of, the, of you with this person. What do I do? Well, the Lord will give you the Holy Spirit to mm-hmm. help you. That's right. He will. Mm-hmm. And remember, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm-hmm. And um, one more thing I want to say. Once you do really start becoming a Christian, or all of us who are Christians already, just remember, study to show thyself approved. Amen. Study the word. Study to show thyself approved. Approved and, of uh, God. 
That's right. And then the Holy Spirit will bring everything to your remembrance that Jesus Christ said he was going to bring. That's right. Give us. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we want you to pass it on over to the prophetess who's in Amen. the studio. Glory to God. I tell you, the best is yet to come. We got Amen. Uh, Pastor James Jasmine that never disappoints us. <laughs> He's always got something special as well. But um, Prophetess Linda Augustine, amen. Welcome. I want to commend you for a beautiful uh, installation service that we did together. Uh, you was assisting Rock of Ages Ministries. Uh, with the uh, Ava and Anthony Coleman and Perfect Anointing Ministries. And uh, as a matter of fact, I have a copy of all, for all of you all. Amen. Mm -hmm. But um, I just want you to know that uh, it was a really a blessing. And I just want to, to say that I don't know what God has placed upon your heart concerning uh, obedience and total surrender to the Lord. But I tell you, I'm ready to receive. Amen. 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 Oh, it's a blessing to be here, and I thank you so much for inviting me. Amen. I'm coming from uh, Romans uh, chapter five, verse nineteen, and it says, "Through one man, disobed through one man's disobedience, sin entered into the world, mm -hmm. and through one man's obedience, mm. many were made righteous." So we know that through Adam, when Adam sinned, that we were made to be sinners, but we know by through Jesus Christ, who was that perfect man, who entered in into obedience, then we were all made righteous. In John 16 and 7, it says that Jesus begins to teach his disciples and that it's necessary. He says, necessary, it's expedient for you, he says, that I go away. And if I do not go away, he says, the Holy Spirit will not come will not unto come. you. But when he does come, he's going to teach you all truth. He's the spirit of truth. And the only way that we are going to receive that and to hear from him is to follow him. We have to be obedient unto the Holy Spirit. Now, the Bible says to lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge, acknowledge him, him. And he says that he will direct our path. But in order for him to direct our path, we have to first be obedient. We have to yield. We have to surrender to the Holy Spirit of God. If we are willing, the Bible says, and obedient, then we'll eat the good of the land. Because if we know him, then we'll follow him. When we be first become Christian and followers of Christ, God takes out that heart of stone. And then he gives us that heart of flesh. So when he gives us that heart of flesh, it enables us to hear from him. Because see, the heart of stone is hard and it's cold. And when we're in the world, it's calculus. It doesn't want to obey God. It's not that we're not trying it. It's just that we think we're good in our own sight. But the only one that's good is God. But God takes us and he transforms us. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then when your mind, when our mind becomes renewed, we begin to think differently. We begin to do things differently because we have been renewed. And we follow a heart that's been renewed to the things of God. And the more we yield to the spirit, the greater the power and the victory in our lives. We are able to become overcomers because we follow what the Holy Spirit is saying. In Philippians 2 and 8, it says that Jesus humbled himself, taking on the form of a man, taking on the form of sinful flesh. Now that was being humble. He humbled himself because he was God. So he, he, he took down his sinful, this, this nature that, that his, his uh, godliness, he put it to the side. Well, he really didn't put it to the side because God can't stop being God. But he didn't, he didn't use his power. He took on his sinful nature because of us. And because he took on that sinful nature, he was obedient. He had to be obedient in order for him to pay the price for us. He had to be obedient in order for him to be able to save our souls. Because without, without Jesus being humble and obedient, we would yet be in our sins. But God wants us to be obedient to his Holy Spirit, even if we're mm -hmm. not sure what mm -hmm. he's saying. If we're not sure it's the Holy Spirit, step out anyway. Step out by faith. It's better for us to, to step out and miss him than to never step out at all. Glory be Amen. unto God. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for that. Amen. 
Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Glory to Thank God. Jesus. I thought about that when you told me to stand up. I see you shouldn't have never told me to stand Come up. Come on here. Come on here. Amen. I would have did, I would have did better and sit down. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. But we thank God, amen, for the 32 years, uh, 32 years, and I've been knowing you all in 32 years, been thank with you. you. Amen. And I appreciate what you have done in my life. Amen. 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 And I appreciate what you have done in many other ministers' life in these mm. 32 years because we had a man, man that was with us. Amen. And they're about God business now. We pray God. Amen. Right. Some of them going home. You can think of a lot of them that was with us that That's going right. on to be with the Lord. Mm. Amen. But uh, uh, those that are listening and looking at the TV yes. and those that are sitting in the audience, thank God for you all. Amen. That's right. Amen. You've been wonderful. And I, just yes. from the scripture that she spoke, one man brought sin into the world. Amen. When when God saw it, all this, he, Amen. What Adam had done, he he raised up a nation, a nation that, Amen, to to, to obey Him, to go in the world, mm, mm, mm. Amen, and not be of the world. That's right. To demonstrate to all the other nations right. the goodness of God and the mercy of God. But mm-hmm. Amen. But disobedient. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, on, Jesus. Man. Amen. I, I don't know. If I'm up here to do this, you know, three minutes. Good God Almighty, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> my spirit. Let him have his Amen. Word. But listen, amen. He raised up prophets, uh, apostles on, after apostles. That's right. And they was willing to lay their life down. Amen. Mm-hmm. To bring God word. And it, That's right. Amen. We, we, we as believers, those who have chosen, been chosen by him, uh-huh. amen, we ought to have that same <laughs> attitude. Amen. Right. amen. Ready to lay down our life for this That's gospel. Right. Amen. Because. Because one thing about it, everybody going to receive you. But thank God, amen, he said, go and tell them anyhow. That's right. Amen. Am I right, y'all? Amen. Y'all better, y'all better help me so I can sit down. Come I'm trying on, to do Come this. Come on here now. Amen. But look, look amen. I, I, I just want to look at, amen, just a uh, mm-hmm. verse in, uh, in, in Ezekiel. Yeah, give us uh-huh. a verse. On, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, and right. verse 36 and 37. Amen. When God, you see, amen, Israel, who he had, amen, who he had chosen to demonstrate who he is, uh-huh. amen, somehow their heart got messed That's up. Right. Amen. Sometimes our heart get messed up. Yeah. But the Lord said, amen, I, I would give you a new heart. Right. Amen. Take out your stony heart and put it into your brand new heart, a, a heart of flesh, amen. 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 Sometimes our, our, our heart get that's why he give us new mercy every morning. Come that's on. Right. That's right. Amen. amen. When, you do, when you go to bed, think you got this all right, you better be careful because you might go to bed and wake up somewhere else. Amen. amen. You got to keep your mind on the Lord. Amen. amen. And a heart that's mind is staying that's on right. God. That's amen. Right. They, they, right. They're walking in the belief that what, what John preached in the book of John, where John said, Be the holy Lamb of God that coming to take away the sins of the world. Amen. amen. And then he said, Those that believe, they should be said, Those that believe, amen. he give us power to that's become right. sons of God. That's right. That's Are y'all right. with me here? Come on, here Come on. Amen. But, 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 what, what I'm saying is, we, we, we Jesus already, we brothers of Jesus. That's right. That's right. Amen. We are sons of God. Right. Are y'all with me? But when right. that, that disobedience, Obedience mm-hmm. step in. That's right. God have to do something about it. That's yeah. right. Amen. Come on, I'm I'm, I'm feeling Amen. all along because this feel, I'm I'm feeling well, feel this all in my six. spirit. Amen. Amen. And, and he told he told Ezekiel, mm-hmm. Amen. That, those are my people, but they are rebellious. That's yes. right. That's yeah. right. Come on, talk to me here. They are stiff necked. You know, y'all with me here? Yeah. They are man. stubborn, but yeah, yeah. amen. That's but right. I, I'm charging you to go to them anyhow. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Tell them whether they want to hear it or whether they don't want to hear it. Amen. That that's their right. blood would not be on your hand. That's right. But if, if we don't tell them, the blood going right. to be on our hand, brother. No matter yeah. how many times. Yeah. Yeah. Say that. Uh, Say that. Our hands, Amen. Amen. Some folks think we are just just to gain, but that's amen. Right. It don't it don't mm-hmm. it don't do us no good to gain the whole world and lose our soul. Amen. And right. He left Come us here to brother. tell the truth. Yeah. yeah. To amen. tell the world of God. That's amen. Right. We gotta let the world know God that's is true. real. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. And just like that's the right. like, like the bitch said, mm-hmm. Amen. The only way he, some folks gonna see it, they gotta see the real in us. That's right, Amen. We can't amen. be a, we can't be a That's preacher right. on a Sunday, and Amen. No they do something else on Monday. That's right, Amen. Uh-huh. Busy doing amen. our own stuff. That's right. Look at that word. Look at that word. Busy. Spell Come that word. On. Busy. B U S Y. How that how that word spell audience? How that spell busy for me? <laughs> busy busy under the, right. busy under what Satan yoke? Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busy under Satan yoke. Come on here. Uh-huh. Come on. Amen. I know your time right now. Amen. I got to leave you. But look, amen. amen. This is so important that we understand that's what right. business we are that's doing. That's all right amen. now. Amen. You're the Bible talking. said, let right. this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. Father, and every time the devil tried to stop him, he kept mm-hmm. going about God business. That's right. Amen. Am I right about that? Amen. So what are you right. saying? Pastor, I'm saying, sisters and brothers, mm-hmm. amen. You 
use the use the knockdown to be a stepping stone. Right. Are y'all with me? Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You you right. use this ridicule to be a nail into Come Christ. On, Amen. Let's somebody Come nail on. you Come to on. Christ. And one That's thing about oh hallelujah, I feel good. Yeah. I better I better quit. I better quit. Oh <laughs> Lord Jesus. Come on. Amen. Man, I I'm you, this is so good. This is so good what yes, we're doing Lord. together. We Amen. ain't trying to outdo one another. That's we just right. letting the That's Lord right. speak through us. Yeah. That's right. Come on, yeah. it's somebody out there need to know Amen. that God is real. Yeah. Yeah. They need yeah. to God know that That's God right. is able to do all things That's but fear. Right. Mm-hmm. Amen. The scriptures say obedience is better than sin. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Don't, don't don't let the devil make you think that you can't get that's it right. right. Cause, right. Amen. All you got to do is call upon him while the blood is running that's warm. Right. That's right. And if you call him on him with right. a sincere heart, he will not turn a deaf ear that's to right. you. Amen. The scripture say, Amen. The day you hear my voice, hold not your heart. That's right. You know it's a blessing when God see all the mess we do and that's still right. say, Come to me. That's it. That's yeah. right. And last awesome. but not least, preachers, amen, all of us right here now. Yes, amen. Yeah. Don't, don't, go, don't go around here telling the world that they, this is hard. This ain't hard to me. Yeah. Come on, amen. Jesus no said, my yoke is easy and my burden right. to right. right. Amen. Right. Take my yoke upon you. Amen. amen. And guess what you are finding? I want to say 
Hopefully that I'm going to see you in the behalf of my brother in Tacatopia. Let's give her a hand. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we just thank God for uh, this opportunity and this great move of God that's going to continue. Amen. And it's just going to get greater and greater and greater. Because God wants His people to be honored. Is that right? Amen. 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 So I thank God for this vision. I thank God for tuning in today and on behalf of apostle ronnie bailey and all of our guests here at rock of ages ministries we hope that you will take these truths expressed on today's telecast and pass it on to others along your life's journey we also pray that you join with us in taking this message around the world for jesus remember we can't beat god giving no matter how hard we try for the more we give unto him, the more he'll give back into us. Now, if you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. If you would like to write us, please send all correspondences to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer request. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com. And our website can be accessed anytime at ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.veoh.com slash channels slash Rock of Ages TV and enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at your convenience. Once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We trust that you have been blessed. Now, until next time, about this same scheduled time, may God bless you. This is my prayer.